What's up guys, SP Architects here today I want to show you how to model this amazing Brazilian live house in Archicad. As you can see, this is not a very simple building. This combines with different leaves of roof. Each part has different options. This part, there is a module system for the roofs, but each roof part consists of with different usage. We can see a porch here. They have used this roof to cover this porch, but if we want to look at different parts, we can see a very nice bedroom. And by the way, we have a very nice and elegant pool right here. So, how can we achieve this roof in Archicad? Because this is not an ordinary roof style. We have a curve here and we have another curve turning from outside. We will have to combine these two different curve types and we need to create a banded roof. Alright, in addition to this, if you want to learn Archicad seriously, I have a Patreon page, you can follow me there and there you can reach all advanced Archicad tutorials and also our project files, including this one. Alright, without any further information, let's get into the Archicad. Here we are in Archicad and at the very first we are going to import our reference image. To achieve it, we will go to File menu and go to External Content. We will click this place external drawing. Once you have located your reference image, you can place it in your floor plan. Like so. I'm going to drag this to here to see it better or I can just remove this reference elevations. Let's click this delete P point. Now we have downloaded and imported this but this is not scaled. We need to scale this first. To achieve it, we need to see a reference position, a reference line, maybe this stair. As you can see, it's 90. I don't know the real distance. I'm going to scale this up to 120. And I'm gonna model everything according to this distance. Let's click our image and hit Ctrl plus K from keyboard and we will use this define graphically. Let's click OK and click here. Click the second target point. The distance will be 220. Hit enter. Now this is going to be our reference image. And we have a floor plan. And we have eaves overhang these dashed lines. So we are going to model our building, our roof according to this outer edge. But if we look at to the reference image, we have entrance floor, entrance story first and the roof story. Therefore we are going to model our roof in the second story. This is zero, one and second. Also, you can check it from the sections if you want. Therefore, I'm going to click this reference image. Copy with Ctrl plus C. Go to second story, Ctrl plus V and paste. In order to create these roofs, we have a couple of options. But according to my preferences, I want to see, I want to model the beams first. The beams will be reference for our building. Let's go to beam tool and for the reference axis this is going to be outer part. I don't know the cross section size, I am going to change it later. Let's start from here and let's finish from here. We cannot see it because it's home story 0 so that means it's under the floor plan. To see it better we will select this beam in the 3D window from the settings we will go to this floor plan and section 
and we will select this home story only. Let's try. As you can see, we have our beam. Let's fix this straight line to edge. Click this edge and click this curve edge. And we intersect with the reference image. After that, we will extend this curve to its real position with this angular stretch. Just like that. I think it must finish from the center line. Let's fix that. And click the edge. Fix the edge strength. Just like this. Once we achieve it, we are going to take the symmetry from here to here. We have this one. Let's go back to the reference image. And it's going to be this outer edge of the roof. This part. So it's not too big. Let's select that. And we can create this link dimensions. And we can change this to 20. Or 15. Once we've got that, we will create another beam. But this time, this reference image will be passing through this center axis. From here to here. But we need to give this a volume. To achieve it, we will bend this. But we need to see some height. Let's measure it from here. Is more or less 236. So in the 3D window, we will change this to vertical curve. And we will give that value to here. 230. Just like that. And as you can see, we get the main shape. Now we need to cover this. To achieve this, I will use two different methods in this tutorial. We are going to use first method from here and we will use the second method for here. For the first method, we are going to use shell. Let's click it, change the structure, click basic and change the thickness maybe 5 cm. After that, we will choose this rule. And for the construction method, we will select this detailed. To do this first, we will determine our first reference plane and draw the first sketch. And after that, we will determine our second reference plane, which is going to be this surface area, this area. And then we will draw our second drawing. Okay, let's do that. For the first plane, I am going to click this face. And after that, I will start from this corner and click this arc by three points here, here, and finish the sketch. To finish the sketch, we will click the latest point we created. After that, we will enter our second profile plane, which is going to be here. And then, as you can see, it's following my mouse and starting from this corner, as we did before, as we did before, it's going to start from here. Let's click this arc by three points. Second. And the last. And as you can see, we will determine our angle. To finish, let's click the latest point we draw and finish the sketch. 
as you can see we have some problems to fix that we will move this second profile to here let's click this point and after that we will click this drag profile horizontally just like that now it's clean and tidy for the second part we are going to follow a different method let's go to options click complex profiles and click this profile manager let's click this new and click this new click ok let's create a line something like this and actually I don't know the value I'm going to make this eyeball okay let's go to the sorry one or ground floor let's hit M this distance will be 360 okay let's try that and the second height was equal with this distance which is 230 after that we will determine our section something like this and we will bend according to this reference image actually this is not bended too much this is slightly straight but anyway let's try this let's delete this and offset this curve with additional centimeters and we will close the gaps once we achieved we will go to document click fill and maybe from here we can choose a roof type maybe timber roof its space and click inside that's all for this part let's try if it doesn't work we can go back let's hit apply and go to ground floor second story after that we will click design then click wall we will change the structure type to custom before that we will click this complex profile and let's click our new profile and let's try starting from here follow this path and finish in the 3d window we will see this once we achieve this we will use solid element operations to do it we will go to connect and create this solid element operations this is going to be a target and this is going to be operator let's hit execute but before that we will create this upward extrusion and then we will hit this execute okay now we have two unwanted parts we can clean it easily let's select this roof right click and click this convert selection to morph let's click ok after that we will use split click here then click here and for the second and for the third we will determine our horizontal edge then we will click this part to select the remaining triangle the suspend group and hit delete now we have done two parts and we need to determine which part we are going to use I think 
this is better so let's use it let's click and hit delete select this on the floor plan and take its symmetry there we go now we can make group after that we can copy this image and go to first story let's paste and let's look at our reference image we have some banded windows ok let's go to wall change the structure to simple and I want to change the wall thickness to 20 for now and let's create and let's create our exterior walls something like this once we achieve this we will place our windows let's go to window and i want to place banded window from the special windows and we will use this curved window let's place like this and extend to here and make it start from here you may want to fix it from 3d window also Let's change this height maybe 4 meters. Okay, I don't know the very much of the details for the building. To create this we need to see a detail section or details draw or detail drawing. Therefore, I'm going to create a slab to inside and attach my wall to under that slab therefore I will go to story second story let's create a slab a simple a simple slab going to be a roof timber roof and let's hit the space and click here after that I will select this part this edge and I'm gonna change this to curve just like that from this page you may want to change this beam types maybe you can make this 5 and also this one we can change the elevation like so and after that we will change the material it's going to be better using same material let's offset this inside slab too and change this reference plane location once we achieve this we can change the height of the wall according to that slab and now we can fix our window all right now the only thing we are going to add for the window is changing number of grids
something like that. Let's go to ground floor, like that, and make symmetry. Once we achieve this, we can select this part and group with Ctrl plus G or you can just go to edit, go to grouping and click this group. After that, we will go to second story, select all of the group by clicking the suspend group on and off and then we will create different kinds of symmetry to complete the building. It seems the first part will be here. and here. Let's select all and make once again. There we go. And we have this one. Alright now in the end we will get this. I have modeled other stories and also I have modeled roof rafters and we have a swimming pool and some objects. This was all it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and if you want to see the modeling process of this model, the remaining part you haven't seen, if you want to see it, the process, you can go to my Patreon page, you can see the whole tutorial there and also you can download the project. And if you are serious about learning ArcKit, you can go to my Patreon page, from there I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching, until next time, have a nice day, bye.